Hello everybody, welcome to another hand pan lesson by Novapan's hand pans. I just had to change my shirt because I was sweating with all the excitement from the previous lessons. So, here we are, lesson three. We are going to be covering dynamics. Now, if you know your technical lingo from classical music education, um, dynamics basically means volume. Okay, so um, on the hand pan you can play very quietly, you can play very loud, okay, and there's a difference in how you uh, notate that on sheet music other than someone shouting at you saying quiet play loud okay and the way that would be indicated is five staves as usual okay it's always on five staves the clef as usual time signature as usual we're going to be playing 60 beats per minute as usual would be indicated up here as crotchet equals 60, 60 crotchets um, a minute. And um, we always use the ding, don't we? So this time we're going to use, let's use this note here. What is this note? Can anyone tell me what this note is? We're looking at four of these notes. So what are they? Now, I know that we're going to repeat. Stick the repeat marks there. They're supposed to be dots. that this is the seventh line this is not the seventh line right there's five line that is the seventh note on the fourth line okay and uh, how do I know it's the seventh note because the very top note is nine okay and I know that every line is an odd number so count down one line from nine it's seven so we're playing the seventh note this time okay so if I was to play that to this tempo two three four find your seventh note how I'm starting with my left hand for no particular reason okay um, it's not indicated if it was le right left right left I'd play right left right left it's not indicated here so I chose to do left right left right you can choose yourself as well even by the way okay this is a good point even if uh, sheet music is indicated to play in a certain way uh, the player itself is allowed to interpret it you know this is um, well I was going to say it's democracy but you, you just you just play it as you like, okay? But they are there as guidelines. So, um, so those are four crotchets played on the seventh note. If you're unsure what these notes are, what the lines mean, means you've probably missed a lesson, or you don't understand the previous lesson. So if you are unsure, message us and we'll help out. No problem. Um, what we're doing is dynamics, okay? So what we have for dynamics are a P. And we have an F, okay? And it's got a, it's, it, yes, it does have to have that special flick, if you're wondering. The P start, stands for uh, piano, okay? It's like a fancy way of pronouncing piano, piano. And it's Italian, at least in music, for meaning quiet, okay? F stands for forte, okay? You know when people say, oh, my forte is eating chocolate cake. You know, there's strength. They're good at eating chocolate cake. That's what this means. Italian means not that you're good at chocolate cake. It means um, play loud. Okay, so you've got piano and you've got forte. Okay, loud, quiet. Now these can be more extreme. For example, you can have two p's, and that's pronounced pianissimo, just means more quiet. You can have two f's. Okay, and that means fortissimo. Okay, and you could add more P's, more F's, and they've got more names for them. Uh, and the point is that the composer just wants you to be more quiet or more loud. Now, there is a, there is a I was going to say volume then, we, we call them dynamics. There is a dynamic in between these, it's called MF, it's called mezzo forte. And that is dead in the middle, that's your um, moderate, uh, moderate dynamic, moderate volume, okay? So if there's an MF, you just play your normal volume and I don't mean your your five-year-old's normal volume which is probably going to be or maybe a three-year-old is maybe going to be slapping if they're anything like my three-year-old they probably are um, it's your MF which is a very like a lukewarm you know or maybe a room temperature volume however you want to interpret that not too loud not too quiet 
You obviously want to have it somewhere in the middle because when we do ask you to play quiet, you've got enough room to play quiet. And also, likewise, it's not too loud because you want to be able to play loud without sacrificing your hand pad. Okay? So now you know what these fancy terms are. We probably won't use them, okay? But this is, I will write it down, pronounced piano, and this is pronounced forte. Okay, speech marks. There's other ways of writing indicating dynamics and we use all sorts of different languages, uh, German, French, uh, English as well, for indicating those, but Italian is definitely the most popular for indicating the, uh, the, the dynamic. So how do we play this? A P is written on the first beat, okay? I don't need to draw the beats, but you should be able to interpret that. P is written on the first beat, F is written on the third beat, okay? One, two, three, four. I know it's not exactly, you know, it might not be exactly there, it might be halfway between the notes. Um, it can be halfway between the notes, but in this case, it's on the beat, on the first beat, and on the third beat. So how would we play this? We'd play too quiet, and we play too loud because the piano applies to everything up until a new dynamic is indicated. So everything up to the forte, which is on beat three. So you play piano, piano, forte, forte, okay? Again, no hand position indication, so just as you like. You just do all four right hand, all four left hand, or a mix and match, whatever. I'm gonna be doing, uh, I'll do right, left, right, left. Okay, so quiet, quiet. too quietly and I'd agree so let's make my quiets my pianos a little more uh, louder here that's you know it's difficult and it's difficult not only to be able to play a contrast of dynamics it's also difficult to do it without speeding up now a lot of people who think well some people think if you play louder you've got to uh, speed up um, at least subconsciously, okay? Because you do have to play quicker, don't you, to get a louder sound. But you can't fall into the trap of playing overall faster. These are all the same speed. There's no indication of speeding up, um, which there can be, by the way. It, there's notation for all sorts of changes of expression in music. But right now, we're just changing the volume. We're just changing the dynamic. So do not speed up, do not slow down. Quiet, quiet, loud. So there you have it, that is um, playing quiet and playing loud. Now remember, the notes may not always be on a single note. <clears throat> I won't redraw it, but imagine that you've got one note. I just realized I was playing on the ding the whole time and it's indicated that you have to play on a seven. So well, let's get back to the seven. Let's do that one more time. Quiet, quiet, loud, loud, quiet, quiet, loud. Of course, the ding is a whole lot easier to practice than the contrast of dynamics because it's uh, it's a larger note. There's more resonance in it. You can get uh, you can you can make a difference much easier, much more easily. But with these notes, it's much more difficult to get that contrast. So make sure you're practicing on both. As I was just saying, you can do them all on one note, or you can do them on a mix. Of notes. So let's do one note on seven, one note on eight, which is directly up. Eight, remember, is an even number, so we already know it's on the right hand side. And if I wasn't sure where it was exactly, I'd find the top note, nine, I'd, I'd count down eight. Or I'd count up two, four, six, eight. Or if I was really unsure, I'd just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
okay? So we've got seven, eight, okay? Quiet, quiet, loud, loud, here we go. I'm going left, right, left, right. Practice that, check out the practice material for lesson three, try to get through all of it. Any questions, let us know. Uh, we'll give priority to our handpan customers, but we'll help anybody. And um, see you at the next lesson, lesson four. Mm -hmm.